What's up, my Stillman fam? So here we go. Week two of the Marshall Stillman Method, five shortcut lessons to good boxing. So week one, we pretty much broke down our straight blows, our hooking blow, our uppercut blow, and our corkscrew blow, and also working it off of this lead leg stance. Week two, we're going to go ahead and break down Mike Donovan's famous leverage guard. We're going to go ahead and break down some blocking, some catching, and also a stomach guard. So for today, we're going to go ahead and take his leverage guard and kind of uh, disassemble it so it's a lot easier to understand. Also understand, as Mike Donovan says, if you know the movements of the breaststroke and swimming, then you know the leverage guard. So pretty much the breaststroke and swimming is an exaggerated version of Mike Donovan's leverage guard. So we're going to go ahead and go over the movements of the breaststroke, and I'm going to show you how we're going to go ahead and tighten it up. So the first thing's first. We're going to break this into what I call a four-count drill. I'm going to get on this side so you can see it better. So when I say one, you're going to do two things. From this conversation stance here, one, you're going to bring the elbows into the chest, and at the same time, you're going to bring the back of the hands under the chin. Once again, like the breaststroke and swimming. At two, we're going to extend our hands all the way, not up, but more at an angle here. Once again, kind of like you were diving. Three, we're going to bring the arms out. Four, we're going to start right back at the side of our leg. So once again, when I say one, the elbows come in, the hand is under the chin. Two, we're gonna extend the hand out. Three, we're gonna bring it out here. And four, once again, getting multiple repetitions of this one, two, three, four. Now once you've done multiple reps like that, now we're gonna go ahead and break it down to single arms. And now we're gonna take this exaggerated motion of bringing the hands out and we're going to make it a little bit more tight. So working just on the right hand side, so we're going to go ahead and go with the one count, which is pretty much bringing the elbow in and the hand behind uh, underneath my chin. So from this position here, I'm going to go what you call one, two. So one, two is I'm going to extend it out as fast as I can and slightly pushing it out with my hand and two, I'm going to bring it right back in. So it's pretty much one, two. Once again, keeping the fingers pointed up, keeping the palm facing out, and extending my hand as much as I can, uh, bringing it back as fast as I can, keeping the elbows tight. Now, once you've done that multiple times, bring that one down once again, going into the one with the left hand, and going into the one, two. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add both hands. We're going to bring both our hands up here with the one, and we're going to shoot them both at the same time up. So now we're not looking for that exaggerated motion out, but keeping it nice and... Now once we've done that, now we're going to go ahead and do is go left and right. So once again, working it from here. Well, this we pretty much, we just broke down Mike Donovan's leverage guard from a conversation stance. Now we're going to go ahead and get into our guard and take them exact same movements we just did and add them to this guard. So getting in a position here with all of our weights on our lead leg, we're going to go ahead and do the four count drill again. So ready? We're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now once you've gotten multiple reps on that, now we're going to go to the single hand again. So we're going to go one, and then one, two. Bring it back. We're going to go one, and then one, two. Now we're going to go ahead and bring them both up and at the same time. Now we're going to go ahead and do is bring them down. Now we're going to bring our hands up, but now we're going to be more in this guard. So my hands ain't together now. Now they're going to be a little bit more separated as if I was in my boxing guard, but now I'm pretty much palms up, fingers pointed, and now I want you to rotate or go opposite hand. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and there you have it. That is Mike Donovan's leverage guard. The exaggerated version of the breaststroke is one, two, three, four. Mike Donovan's leverage guard is keeping the hands here. As you can see, it's kind of a fence too. One, two, keeping them here and just shooting them up. Now, how would I use this more or less in my guard? As you can see, 
how you can kind of take his leverage guard and use it. On Wednesday, I'm going to go ahead and show you how we're going to utilize this leverage guard and throw a lead shot off of it. Let me know what you think.